guys, welcome back to Baycroft. Welcome back, welcome back. My name is Symphoria, and I just turned off. <coughs> oh goodness, I'm really sorry. I'm I've got a really bad cough, and I don't know why. Um, but I just turned off the um, blaze spawner. I've left it in there, and I just wanted to quickly check on our piggies. And. doing stuff but I don't know let's let's oh no don't drop that let's have a quick look I just want to see uh, let's morph wrong way I just want to quickly see how many piggies there are because I think we left six so there should be there should be some more piggies we didn't leave six, I mean we left six carrots in there. Um, let's get rid of this. <coughs> they should be able to climb all this. Yeah, so there are three in here. Um, I don't know what this is counting. So this should be breeding them. Still. So we'll just have to see how that goes. But yeah, so apart from that, everything seems to be running really well. Let's just check that's off. Yep, that's all fine. That's all good. Awesome. So we were going to continue with the um, Enderman farm today. But I haven't... I was going to ask Silent Lilac for some help because I'm not too sure on how to set it up or what's the best things to use. Or I was going to ask Somnia um, because I know he's already got one. Um, and I haven't had a chance to yet and um i kind of had a quick look at some tutorials and i found two on youtube and um i couldn't really figure them out for the life of me so what i thought we would do today is something that i've been meaning to get into for a while um and just haven't done yet and that is bees over here like all our bees um so that's definitely something that i want to get into so i thought we could make some of the stuff today Let's quickly go and uh, chuck some coal on these guys. Um, so that is something that I think I want to get into today. So first things first, we need to find somewhere to put them. Um, we could put them on top of the hill maybe. I know, I think they're going to have to be in different places because they're different biomes of bees. Um, hmm. Maybe we should just keep them here for now. The thing is... Um, we're going to end up making quite a lot of machines and stuff, and um, we need to have it in a good space. Unless we have it down by the water here, because then we've got access to the water, which is what we're going to need for the bees. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to probably... Mm. Oh, that's not good. Are you not my... Where's my lumber axe? There you are. That's what I needed. So I'm going to go ahead and um, just clear a little space. Ready for our lovely bees. And when I get back, I'm probably going to do it over here not rather than on the pod sole. Because, yeah, we'll do it like here. Um, and then I will be back and we can start trying to figure out some bee stuff so i'll be back in a second okay so i cleared a little bit of space here um i'm probably gonna just some of it's lit up pretty well and then there's other parts that aren't so great so i feel like a little bit more light can't hurt uh, but this is the area that we've kind of made right now for the bees. I mean, they may go somewhere else, but this is what's happening now. Um, so when I was looking um, at the bees and what we needed to do, let's get out of this bit because it's getting dark. Um, the first thing that we can do is make a kind of like a bee house, a bee house or like a hive. So we have one of these in here. If it lets us down. Um, 
let's just check in here. Yeah, a bee house. So we can make a bee house, which you use, um, let's have a look. We use slabs for a piece of comb, a honeycomb, and just some planks. So we could make that and make just a normal bee house. And what that would give us from our bees is honeycombs, which, you know, is helpful. But what we actually want to do is go further with our bees and um, breed them and, you know, get all the different variations and mutate them and make them the best bees that we can. So the the kind of the one that we're going to need is the apiary. Now, when I was looking online, it was saying that there was quite a few steps to making an apiary, but it was definitely worth it. However, from what I've just seen in here, when we went to one of the villages and got the bees, we got an apiary. So if we have a quick look up um, at apiary, you can see that actually it's not too bad. So it's the same as the slabs on the top and the planks on the bottom, but then you need an impregnated casing. And to do that, this is where the carpenter comes in. So you need to put all of these logs eight logs into a carpenter and it will make an impregnated casing so we already have a carpenter so let's put you down um but when we go on the carpenter it says there's no recipe so we would need to put the logs in like this um and then it says no power and we need rf power to power this so we are going to need to go and get one of our generators uh, let's just kill this. Hello. I hate that the blizzards are so mean because they're so adorable. Is that the only one? I thought I heard like a weird spider. Um, so let's go downstairs and see if we can pick up one of our generators. No, let's see what's in here. You got any generators? No, I do have the... Oh. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. I did a survivalist generator. That will do for now. Um, I think we're probably going to need a pipe too. I do have um, energy cells, but we may as well use the generators for now. I do want to save the energy cells for like absolute emergency. So if, for example, our reactor ran out like it did the other day and I wasn't able to do anything about it, then we could do it. Um, I don't know if it was in the last episode or the episode before. I was able to turn the um, the waste product from our reactor into... Oh, I can see a blaze. Get out of my house. The the cyanite stuff that we got from the reactor. I was actually able to turn that into blue light. I think it's pronounced. And apparently you can put that in the reactor like yellow light. Um, so if we can do that, that would be amazing. So I definitely need to try that out. Uh, but let's go and plug this generator in and see if we can make this casing. I have a funny feeling that it's more complicated. Ow! Oh, I'm not in morph. Oh my goodness, I'm so stupid. I still don't know who this lily is. Let's go back into morph because uh, it's just easy. I'm so used to flying around. Um, oop. So I don't know whether this is going to generate enough power. And to be honest, I, I do want to try and make one. So I really hope it does. So let's put this generator here. And we'll pipe it up here. No. Stupid grass. No. No, stop lagging. Really? This is what we're doing right now. I don't know if this is lag. <laughs> Also, <laughs> things going on. You know what? I'm just going to leave you. I don't care. There we go. So they're connected now. So this is taking power. But it still says it has no recipe. No matching recipe was found for the supplied resources. Oh, no, me. I can hear a zombie. Hello, sir. Hello. Oh, you're a villager. Sorry. Whoops. Um, so it's still saying that it's got... There's no recipe for that. I guess it's like... Because that's just a chest recipe. So let's have a look again. Um, 
Um, we need like a blank. I think we need to make a blank casing first. No. That's not it. Uh, what about, let's just type in casing. Oh, here we go. So we've got impregnating casing hardened and sturdy. So I think if we make a sturdy one, um, so we need lots of bronze, which we do have actually, I checked. Because I did know about these casings, but um, seeing as we already had an apiary, I wasn't actually going to make one, but we're going to need more than one apiary, so... Another zombie head, great. To add to my collection. Um, I did also bring a crafting table to put out here. Um, so that we don't have to keep going back and forth. So let's pop this down. Okay, and then get our bronze. And we get a sturdy casing. So to make a hardened casing, oh, we need some water as well. Okay. So we need the sturdy casing in the centre. Mm -hmm. Give me my wood back. Where's it gone? No idea. So we can put this in the centre. We get four diamonds, but we do need some water to it. Uh, if you stop with the remaining liquid in the machine to tank, you can click it with a pipette to empty it. Okay, so I'm going to assume we can fill it with water like this. Obviously, eventually we are going to automate it. Um, so that we don't have to fill it like this, but we'll try. Yep, there we go. Awesome, let's get some more. One, two. One, two. Don't know what's happening with that, um, with that, that cable. No idea why it's doing that, but hey-ho. Okay, and just a little bit more just to make sure we've got plenty in there and two awesome that actually might be full now oh nearly so all we need to go and get is some diamonds and it should work now let's hope we have some diamonds Ugh. diamonds diamonds where are all my diamonds I don't have any. Oh, three. Great. We need one more. Um, now, I was watching the Silent Lilacs video, and she found a way to turn gas tears into diamonds. Um, and you need... It's using Britannia. Now, the only thing is, I don't think I've got any gas tears. No, it wasn't gas tears into diamonds. It was mana... It was gas tears into... Man, uh, into ender pearls. God damn it. But I think she did say she found a way of making diamonds. So let's have a look because it's going to be easier than doing this. So we've got all those fragments. Yep, smelting, smelting. There we go. Coal chunks. Obsidian and compressed coal. Coal ball. Coal. Flint. Okay. So we can we could make a compressor. That's what we need to make, isn't it? Um with one with one M. Uh air compressor. Compressor? Basic machine casing, electronic circuit. Okay, so that's probably something that we're gonna do next time. So for this episode, I am just gonna go down here and mine until I find some time. So I'm gonna cut ahead to when we found some and I will be back in a tick. Okay guys, so I've just come back from mining and obviously we have so much cobble. Um, we've actually got some gravel too. Cool, and then if we look at our little pack, we've got loads of stuff. So we've got aluminium, silver, copper, uh, more redstone, iron, yellowite, which is amazing. Loads and loads of gold, which is also cool. Um, more, even more redstone. So let's get that out. So we can put that away. And rather than taking this stuff um, downstairs, I'm just going to quickly chuck it in here. Apart from the 
yeah all right because we need that this rubbish in there we've got quite a lot of coal as well which is always handy let's put our ring back on there's some really weird noises like there's some crazy monsters outside it's freaking me out let's go to sleep and i can't sleep because i'm in morph of course um, so I was able to get some diamonds if I show you in the bag we got 17 altogether uh, we already had three so I actually managed to find two little pockets and we got 14 which was amazing um, so if we quickly switch back then we can go out and make this casing hopefully should all work I don't think there's any reason why it wouldn't I'm expecting to see it almost sounded like some kind of death horse that noise that I could hear I can see a creepy uh, we better take him out need more torches to light up this place hello sir please don't put a hole in my floor thank you so hopefully if we go over here this is now full of water let's see if we can chop this no okay i have no idea what's going on with that so if we get this out and this out we go into here we should be able to put the sturdy casing here and one two three four like this is it doing it um oh oh i see so you you use what you're doing you put it in there so that's the pattern that it's doing and then this two bar space is actually the inventory of the carpenter that you put it in so you could set it to make loads for you that's really cool so there we go that should make us one so that's really cool and there we go we have a hardened casing so then if we go on to uh in, we'll just put in casing again so we have this we want to make this so this is showing us just wood uh so let's let's click this off do we put the hardened casing there no uh hmm oh wait there's something else in there seed oil that's why we need seed oil so we're gonna make we're gonna need some seed oil but anyway we do have an apiary so let's get this one out now we are in a mega tega biome no idea what that is but i'm pretty sure some of these um snowy bees are actually from this area so if we put this like here say just for today um and we get out we've got some winter ones yes yeah. so we've got a winter queen a princess sorry and a drone can we put them in no queen Oh, yeah so this is the um, temperature that they need uh, needs no power I own it and there's no flowers so if you put a princess and a drone in it will make a queen and then what we need to go and do is collect some flowers now I'm pretty sure I don't think the mystical flowers work um, so we are gonna need vanilla ones luckily there's quite a few well these are biomes with plenty of flowers but hopefully they work some of these are normal minecraft ones that's not that's Britannia. Are these all Britannia? They are, and then I've got some of these. So let's go and see if these work. I'm not 100% sure. No hive members are finding the right flowers. Okay. Uh, mystical ones. Oops. Hit the beehive probably not the best idea oh okay so they like those flowers so now the queen should be going out and finding um the things you can see the little sparkles coming off of the beehive 
and she should be raring to go and looking for um basically the honey to make the honeycombs so this little green ball will go down and then when she unfortunately dies she should leave us with a another princess and at least one drone so we can make another queen and um, we already do have another queen and another drone that are uh, winter ones so that'd be good this says ignoble stock unknown geome and this one says pristine so what you're trying to do is get the best bees you can so i think the pr i don't know about the ignoble i don't really know what that means but pristine stock must mean that it's pretty good so she may be her babies may be good to keep hold of to do some uh, dna swapping but we'll definitely have to see. So we've overrun a little bit on this video because of having to go mining. So I apologise. But this is where we're going to leave this video for today. Um, I do want to build, eventually, hmm, I do want to build like a bee roofed area to put all this stuff in. Not the bees, obviously, um, but all the machines and stuff, probably. Um, so I do need to get some resources for that. I don't quite know what I'm going to use yet. Cobble is the easiest to use just because I can chisel it to any colour. So it may be another cobble one, which look, could look pretty cool. Um, I'm going to probably um, model it on... Um, open. Open. Thank you. Model it on one of these bees. Um, I think that would be pretty cool. And then obviously we have the space on top of this over here to have uh, to make a flower, which I have actually been making some stained glass for. Um, because Kimmy gave me the idea actually, she made a stained glass flower in her house. Um, her link's going to be in the description along with everyone else's, so please go and check them out. Their series are awesome and they're doing some amazing, amazing stuff. Um, but I saw Kimmy making a stained glass flower in her house, which looked beautiful, and I was like, if I turn that on its side, that could be how I do maybe the petals for my flower because I was trying to think out like what um, what stuff I could make it out of. So I've been collecting some stuff. Um, so hopefully I can get that done soon. Um, as I said before, I'm not going to put any of that on camera most probably because it's not, it's a bit boring. I'll show you updates like I have with the house, with the hat, sorry, the hat house, which there is no updates for because I haven't done that either. Um, I just haven't been online at the moment and um, some of you may know some of you may have seen the video already but um, I took part along with Somnia, Basestead and Susie in a panel at BTM Better Than Minecon 2016 and so spent the weekend kind of just on their server roaming around and having a look at everything so check that video out if you haven't as well um, I just do a quick little tour and Somnia and Bay were streaming it and it was super super awesome so thank you very much for the opportunity to do that it was really fun but i hope you've enjoyed this episode it's a bit different doing bees um we're going to carry on with bees i think in the next episode um and try and get something some more things set up maybe another apiary but we'll see we need to find some seed oil so i need to find out where to get that from so i hope you've all enjoyed this episode i hope you're all having a fabulous week stay magical guys and i will see you all soon bye